This is Craig Delger with a review of the Outdoor Research Helium HD jacket for Perlite Gear. If you've been following our video series, you know that we've been looking at uh, all the lightweight rain jackets recently. Uh, and this is a new release from Outdoor Research. And since we covered the Helium 2, uh, it only makes sense for us to also talk about the Helium HD. Uh, the Helium 2 has been a very successful jacket for Outdoor Research. And so let's start off by talking about how this jacket compares to it. But let's also talk about how it compares to the uh, Montbell Versalite jacket since it's uh, more uh, a match in terms of features to what the uh, Helium HD is. So the Outdoor Research Helium 2 is a uh, 6.4 ounce jacket in a size large. The Helium HD is just under that sweet spot, 10 ounces, so 9.9 .9 ounces for a size large, which is what I'm wearing. Uh, the increase in weight comes from the fact that this has many features that were left off of that Helium 2. So if you're looking for you know, the lightest jacket uh, that we've reviewed so far, you would look at that Helium 2. If you're looking for still a lightweight rain jacket that's underneath that 10 ounce sweet spot for a size large, but has some very useful features like very large pit zips, uh, this is the jacket I would steer you towards. Um, let's go through some of the features. First, first off, this is still using the Pertex Shield Plus 2.5 layer fabric. Um, it does have uh, adjustable cuffs on it where the Helium 2 does not. This has really nice pockets on it. And the pockets are uh, lined with a mesh so you can use them uh, to, to vent off some of the hot air that's building up underneath this jacket if you're wearing it during a highly aerobic uh, activity. It also has, like I mentioned, really nice large pit zips. The only other uh, lightweight rain jacket that we've reviewed so far that has large pit zips like this is the Montbell Versalite. Uh, the jacket also has one chest pocket and a really nice hood on it. The hood is a three-way adjustable hood and it does have a wire in the brim so you can shape it to be just the way you want it to be. I just got back from a five-day trip where I took this jacket with me and it never rained once on that trip. So um, the jacket, you know, didn't come out of uh, my, my bag at all during that trip. And that's kind of what happens up here in Montana is you bring a rain jacket in case you get into a rainstorm, but many times you, you never need the jacket. So that's where you, know, you need to determine, is this going to be a jacket that you can be wearing a lot while, while uh, hiking or backpacking or trail running, mountain biking, etc.? Or is it just going to be taken out long as a precaution? Um, if it's just a precaution, you might want to go with one of the really light options like the Helium 2. But if you're going to be wearing it, I like this much better than a Helium 2. Um, let's compare this to the Versalite. This comes in at 9.9 .9 ounces for a size large. The Montbell Versalite comes in at 7.6 ounces for a size large. Uh, so the Versalite is lighter weight. The Versalite has all the same features, including the pit zips. Um, it doesn't have the wire in the uh, brim, which is, you know, as I've stated in, in other videos, makes the, the helmet uh, compatible hoods m much nicer if you can shape that brim. Uh, the big advantage that I think the Montbell Versalite has over this jacket is the price point. It's about $50 less expensive. This comes in at just under $200, and the Montbell Versalite comes in at $150. So that's why I still give that Montbell Versalite. The best value award, but uh, this it has it, the features are a little bit more dialed in on this than on that Montbell Versalite, but you're paying more for it, and it's also heavier than that. So, uh, if you have any questions on this, feel free to give us a call at 406-582-0508 or send us an email to info at perlikegear.com. I'll put all the uh, specifications for this jacket into that grid. Uh, in the article that I wrote back at ProLightGear.com. I'll place the link to that uh, in the uh, description below, so be sure to check that out as well. Mm -hmm.